little yarnivores and spiderettes, Fiber Spider back again with a bonus for the Lost Souls Skull Shawl tutorial. Now, in the last video I did, I did a full repeat, but because of the nature of this pattern and the way that it grows out in sort of a tessellating fashion, I thought that for the sake of clarity, that I will do another repeat just so that what might not have been clear will be perhaps more clear. Um, no, so if you do understand the repeat process, by all means, go for it. If not, this is for you. Okay, so we will get started. All right, so this is row 10 of our second repeat, and we're going to get started right in. All right, so we're going to start, and also this is where we're going to create the chins on the beginning skulls, like here and here and here, and we're also going to create the foreheads of the pre-existing two skulls on this. Okay, just so you know where we're at. So we're going to start by chaining up a three. Okay, turn the work. And of course, a shell into the previous row's shell. So that is two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. And I may go a little bit faster because we've already done the repeat, but I'm still trying to be thorough for you guys. All right, so we did our shell, and then we chain three. Okay, and we're going to do seven double crochets into this chain seven space, and that's going to create the little chin. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Okay. And then chain three again. And into the next shell, we're going to do another shell. So that is, of course, two doubles chain one, two doubles. Like so. <clears throat> okay. Chain three. Okay. And we are going to skip the first stitch on the skull here. So we're going to skip that first stitch and then we're going to do 10 single crochet stitches. Okay, so skipping that one, going to the next. So that's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And so we're going to skip this last single crochet stitch from the top of the skull here, and then chain three, okay, and we're going to do another shell into this shell from the previous row, so 
that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. All right, so now, this is what I was talking about. See, now we need to create another skull right here in this chain seven space. So what we're gonna do is, just like we did over here, where we did a shell, we chained three and we did our seven doubles, and then we chained three and we did our shell. So what we're gonna do right here, we did our shell, so we're going to chain three, and in this chain seven space, we're going to do seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, then we chain three again. And we're going to do a shell in this shell here. With two doubles, chain one and two doubles. Okay. <clears throat> and then we chain three. Now over here on this skull, we're going to skip the first single crochet stitch and go into the next stitch with a single crochet doing 10 single crochet stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chain three again. Then we're going to do a shell into this shell from the previous row. So it's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, chain three. And then we need to create the chinny chin chin of this skull. So that's seven doubles going across this seven chain space. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Yep. Okay, and then to finish up the row, chain three and do a shell into the last shell. So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. And there you are. That is the end of row 10 for our second repeat. Row 11. Okay, so we're going to start off. And this time we're going to be doing the mouth on our beginning skulls and the foreheads of the pre-existing ones. So we're going to start by chaining up a three. 
turn the work. And got a bit of a yarn tangle, excuse me. Okay, and a shell within the pre-existing row shell. So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. There we are. Chain three. Now into the first double crochet, we're going to do a single crochet stitch. Okay, like so. And then chain seven. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then a single crochet into the last double crochet stitch. Like so. Chain three. Do a shell into the previous row's shell with two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Okay. <clears throat> Chain three. Alrighty. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches. Okay. So we're going to skip those two stitches and we're going to do a single crochet in the next six stitches and then skip the last two. Okay. So skipping these first two, go into the third with a single crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Skipping these last two, chain three. And we're going to do a shell into the next shell. Two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Like so. Chain three. We're going to do a single crochet stitch into the first double. Like so. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Hello. <laughs> Seven, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, okay. Then do a single crochet into the last double crochet stitch, like so. Chain three. Work another shell into the previous row shell. Two doubles. Chain one. Two doubles. All right, chain three. And again, we need to skip the first two stitches, one and two, go into the third with a single crochet. So that's the first of six single crochet stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we left the last two stitches unworked. Then we chain three again. One, two, three. 
and into the next shell we're going to work another shell two doubles chain one two doubles okay chain three work a single crochet into the first double crochet chain seven one two three four five six what hello seven yep and then work a single crochet into the last double crochet stitch creating our mouth chain three and then work a shell into the last shell two doubles chain one and two doubles Ta -da! and that's the end of row 11 alrighty row 12 Okay, so we're doing the lips and the foreheads in this case. So we're going to start by chaining up a three. Turn the work. Work a shell into the first shell. two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Like so. Chain three. Okay, now we need to create the lips. So we're going to do a single crochet into the single crochet stitch that we previously made. Like so. And then we're going to do seven single crochet stitches over the chain of seven that we did. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. I got it. Just making sure and then we need to do a single crochet uh, into the single crochet that we did here that linked that together, like so. Voila. All right. Then we chain three. Work a shell into the previous row shell. So two doubles chain one, two doubles, okay, now working over the top of the next skull there, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to chain three, and you're going to skip the first stitch, okay, and you're going to work a single crochet into the next four stitches. So we skipped one. We did the first one, so that's one, two, three, and four. I'm going to skip that last one, chain three, work a shell into the next shell. 
So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles, like so, chain three, and then we've reached the next mouth. So we're going to work a single crochet into the single crochet stitch, like so. Then seven single crochets along this chain of seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Work a single crochet into the joining single crochet right here, like so. Chain three work a shell into the previous row shell, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Chain three, okay, and then we're going to skip the first stitch of the top of this skull, skip the first stitch, go into the next one with a single crochet. So that's the first of four. So that's one, two, three, and four. Skip that last single crochet stitch there at the top of the skull there. Chain three, one, two, three, then we're going to work a shell into the top of this shell here. So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Like so. Then we chain three again. And then we need to do a single crochet into that single crochet stitch. And then seven single crochets along this seven chain space here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the joining single crochet right here. like so, chain three, and do a shell in the previous shell, previous rows shell, excuse me, right there. So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. And that, my dears, is the end of row 12. We're getting there. We most certainly are. All right, we've got row 13. Now, if you remember, row, thir row 13 is when we close together the gaps over the pre-existing skulls. Okay, so I'm going to start by chaining up three. Turn the work. Create a shell stitch in the first shell. Two doubles. Chain one. Two doubles. Like so. Chain three. Okay, so now going across this mouth here, we're going to do a single crochet in the first three stitches. So that's one, 
two and three. Okay. See, now we've got to create a nose. So we did a single crochet in the first three stitches. Then we do a double crochet into the next stitch. A chain one. Then we skip a stitch. And into the next one, we do another double crochet. So not this one, the next one over. We do a double crochet. So now I've got a nose. Then three single crochet stitches. That's one, and two, and three. Like so. Okay. Then we chain three again. Work a shell into the next shell space. So two doubles chain one, two doubles, like so. Now, we have to bridge the gap, so we're going to go directly from this shell over to working a shell on this side. Now remember to keep your stitches tight so there isn't a big lag in there. So yarning over, going right in to the next shell space. Make sure that that first double crochet is nice and tight. So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. All right. And that one's closed up. Then we chain three again. Okay. And now we have to create the nose on this skull. So again, we need to do a single crochet into the first three stitches. So it's one, two, and three. Then we do a double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip a stitch, go into the next one with a double crochet. So this one's got a little nose as well. And then we finish up this skull with three more single crochet stitches. Okay, then we chain three, and we go into the next shell with another shell. Two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. There we go. Okay. And now we have to bridge the gap for these spaces here. So we did our shell. Now we need to do another shell on the opposing side, right in there. And again, make sure that your stitch is going to be nice and taut, like so. So that's one double, two, chain one, Two more doubles for our completed shell. There we go. Okay, then we chain three again. Okay, so now we need to create the nose on this last skull. So going to again do three single crochets, working our way across. two, three, next stitch is a double, chain one, and of course I get a knot right when I don't need one, there we go, 
So I did a double crochet, a chain one, we skip a stitch, go into the next stitch with a double crochet, and then finish with three more single crochet stitches. chain three, and then do a shell in the shell space at the end here with two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. All right, that's the end of row 13. Alrighty, row 14. So for 14, we're creating the eyes for our skulls in progress and the bridge for our previous skulls. So we're starting by chaining up three. Turn the work. And work a shell into the previous row shell, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. There we are. Chain three, okay. And into the first stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet. Again, it helps to hold your yarn over while you're doing this. There we are. So we've got our half double. And then we need to chain seven and single crochet into the nose space. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the nose space. So we've got one eye cavity there. Then we chain seven again. Four, five, six, seven. And then we finish by doing a half double into the last stitch of this skull. There we are. And then chain three. There we go. Work a shell into the previous row shell there. Two doubles. Chain one. And two doubles. <coughs> okay. And then we're going to work two chains in between our shells here and here. So it's two chains. And then we work our second shell. So it's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Pardon me. All right. Chain three. And we have reached our second skull of the row. So we're going to work a half double into the first stitch here. And then we chain seven, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the nose space. Chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Half double crochet into the last stitch of the skull. Okay. Chain three. And we've reached our two shells once again. So shell into the space of the first shell. Two doubles. Chain one and two doubles. Like so. Then in between the two shells, we chain two. Then we finish up here by doing another shell right there. Two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. All right. Then we chain three again. Oops, hello. One, two, three. And then for this skull, once again, we start by doing a half double crochet into the first stitch. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the nose space. Chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Half double crochet on the last stitch to finish up the skull. There we are. Chain three again. One, two, three. And finish up this row with a shell in the last shell space. With two doubles. Chain one and two doubles. All right, and that is the end of row 14. All righty, onwards to row 15. Now, keep in mind that for row 15, it is an increase row, so we're going to start and end with our double shells, beginning and ending. Also, um, that as this is row 15, when you have done enough of your repeats, stop just before you reach row 15, because when you want to do the top edge, uh, the row 15, 16, etc., 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 those are slightly different so that you create a top border, uh, because it would be 15A, 16A, etc., etc. But for now, we're just doing our bonus repeat. Okay, so starting off, we're going to chain up three, turn the work, and we need to do a double shell into this first shell space. So that is, of course, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, So I've got our first shell, then we chain two, and then we do our second shell. So that's two doubles, come on, chain one, and two more doubles to complete our double shell. Okay, 
then we chain three. Now into the next stitch over here, our half double crochet, we're going to do a single crochet into that half double. There we go. And then across this eye cavity here, the seven chains, we're going to do seven single crochet stitches over that seven chain arch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we skip over the joining single crochet and go into the next eye cavity with seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then into this half double, we're going to do another single crochet stitch. It can be a little bit tricky, but we shall do it. There we go. Single crochet there. Then we chain three. And into the next shell space, we do another shell. It's two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. And then in between this shell and this shell, we're going to chain two. And then we do a shell into this shell space. So it's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. All right, so we've just done our bridging, and then we chain three again. And now we have to create a brow for this skull. So into the half double crochet, we're going to do a single crochet, like so. And then over this eye cavity, seven single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the joining single crochet. Do seven single crochets into this space here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then into this half double, we're going to do another single crochet. go, like so, chain three, and we've reached our two shells, so in the first shell we're going to do, yes, another shell, so that's two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, Okay, then bridging the gap, we do two chains. And then into the next shell, we do another shell stitch. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, then we chain three. 
scooch my work to the side there. All right, into the first half double here, do a single crochet stitch. Okay, then into the first eye cavity, we do seven single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skipping over this joining single crochet, we do seven more single crochet stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then in the final half double crochet, we're going to do another single crochet stitch. There we go. Chain three. <clears throat> now, last but not least, we need to do a double shell into this shell space. So that is, of course, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, then we chain two, and we do another shell. So that's two doubles. chain one, and two doubles. And there we are. The end of row 15. All right. All right, we're on the last lap, row 16. All right, so starting off, we chain three. We turn the work, and be careful that you are, in fact, going into the first chain space of the first shell. Careful. So going into that first chain one space, we're going to do a shell of two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. There we go. And then we need to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you having deja vu? I am. <laughs> so we're skipping over this chain two space here. We're going to go into the next chain one space with another shell. So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles, because right now we're creating the base for the next series of skulls. Just like we have here, we also have down here, you see? All right, so then we're going to chain three and working within this skull, going to skip the first stitch and then we're going to, let me see, yes, skip the first stitch, which is right here Going into the next stitch, like so, we're going to be doing six single crochet stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and 
6, then we are going to skip these two middle stitches and do six more stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Skipping this last stitch here, I'm going to move right along, chaining three, go into this next shell right here with another shell. So that's two doubles, chain one and two doubles. Okay. And now we need to create a base for another skull. So we're going to chain seven. four, five, six, seven. And into the next shell, we're going to do another shell. So that's two doubles, chain one and two doubles. Like so. See where one door closes? two more open in this case. <laughs> All right. So we did our bridge. We did our two shells. And now going to deal with this skull here. So we're going to chain three. Okay. And so again, we're going to skip the first stitch we're going to go into the next one and we're going to do six single crochets. So I did one, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip two stitches and then single crochet six more. That's one two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to leave that last single crochet stitch alone. Chain three. Okay, and we've reached our two shells again. So going into the first shell with another shell. So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Like so. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go into the next shell with a shell. Excuse me. There we go. So it's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles, like so. Then we've reached our last skull over here. So going to chain three, and we're going to, again, skip the first stitch, go into the next with a single crochet, and do five more for a total of six. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches, go into the next, for six more single crochets, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip that last stitch, chain three. 
All right, again, being careful to go into the chain one stitch of the first of our shells. We're going to do another shell. <clears throat> so that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Okay, and then we chain seven, going over this chain two space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going over the chain two space into the next chain one space of that second shell and create another shell. So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Hoo-ha. <laughs> All right. And there we go. So that, my dears, is the end of our second repeat, sort of a bonus. You know, at first I was like, eh, maybe I won't. And then I thought to myself, self, I like to be thorough because I really like to make sure that the pattern makes sense, that it's comprehensible, and that you can follow along. Now, I'm not going to do an entire crochet along for this shawl, um, but I do hope that this second repeat installment really did help to clarify how you should go about continuing on, because now we're going to have a skull here, 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 and here. And then these spaces are going to get closed, this space is going to get closed, and that space is going to get closed. So that being said, you can see how it's going to grow, and I'm quite delighted thus far, and I hope you are too. So listen, if you liked this, please, by all means, you know, hit that thumbs up button because your support means the world to me, as always. And if you have any questions, comments, what have you, um, you know, please do so in the comments section down below. I know, <laughs> I, I do realize that my hands were a bit shaky. Um, it is almost four in the morning and coffee is my ally in cases like this. So please excuse my shaky hands. Um, and, uh, so aside from that, um, you know, uh, you know, if you have any questions, comments, what have you do so. Uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so, because I try to keep up to date and so forth with my posts, and I shall be doing another video on how to do the finished edge at the top, so that way you can stay tuned. So until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, even if it leaves me shaky. And above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.